Excellency Dr. Mohammed Muizu, President of the Republic of Maldives, to give his remarks to the media. Excellency Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, distinguished members of both delegations, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. Let me start by conveying my sincere gratitude to President Her Excellency Drupati Murumu for the invitation extended to me. I, I also thank the President, Prime Minister Modi, the government and friendly people of India for the warm welcome and generous hospitality accorded to me and my delegation since our arrival yesterday. Prime Minister Modi and I held extensive discussions taking stock of our successful development journey together and charting a path for the future collaboration between our two countries. We agreed on a comprehensive vision document charting the course of our bilateral relationship, a vision for a comprehensive economic and maritime security partnership will encompass development cooperation, trade and economic partnerships, digital and financial initiatives, energy projects, health cooperation, as well as maritime and security cooperation. India is a key partner in the socio-economic and infrastructure development of the Maldives and has stood by the Maldives during our times of need. I would like to thank Prime Minister Modi, the government and people of India for the generous assistance and cooperation extended to the Maldives over the years, including the recent budgetary support in form of rollover of the T-bills. I am thankful for the Indian government's decision to provide support in the form of 30 billion Indian rupees in addition to 400 million US dollars bilateral currency swap agreement, which will be instrumental in addressing the foreign exchange issues we are facing right now. Our discussions today underscore the shared commitment to remain engaged on further measures that will bolster the Maldives economic resilience and stability. We had just now had the virtual launch of the Rupee card, which promises to enhance financial accessibility for the people of Maldives and India. We also just marked the completion of 700 housing units under the Indian Exim Bank's buyer's credit scheme to address the housing needs in the Maldives. Additionally, we witnessed the inauguration of Hanimadu Airport Runway, which would lead to better connectivity for economic growth. In addition to this, we have just signed and exchanged key documents aimed at enhancing our collaboration in several critical areas such as youth and sports, combating corruption and building capacity across various sectors. These agreements will not only strengthen our institutional frameworks but also promote transparency and accountability which are essential for sustainable development. We look forward to concluding the free trade agreement with India which will enable us to harness the full economic potential between our countries and to increase Indian investments in both our tourism and various sectors of development. Our people-to-people -people connections have long been the foundation of the relationship between India and Maldives. Many Maldivians travel to India for tourism, for medical purposes, for education, and for many other needs. At the same time, the Maldives hosts a large number of Indians who contribute to the development of the Maldives. India is one of our largest tourism source markets, and we hope to welcome more Indian tourists to the Maldives, allowing for shared growth and understanding between our peoples. We have closely collaborated on multilateral fora, including seeking solutions to climate change and promoting sustainable development, and will continue to do so. Looking ahead, we are fully committed to sending our cooperation with India across a broad spectrum of areas, including high-level exchanges 
that foster deeper understanding and friendship between our nations. A democratic, prosperous and a resilient Maldives is important for peace and stability in the Indian Ocean region and India is an important partner in the maritime security domain due to our geographical proximity. The ties between the Maldives and India are centuries old as evident throughout our histories. Next year we will be marking the 60th anniversary of the establishment of formal diplomatic relations between our two countries. I have invited Prime Minister Modi to undertake a state visit to the Maldives to commemorate this occasion. Together we will work to build a future that only benefits both our countries. I am confident that our continued collaboration will lead to a brighter future. The Maldives will remain a true friend, committed to our shared vision of peace and development in our countries and our region. Prime Minister Modi, let me thank you once again for your commitment to strengthen the ties of friendship between the Maldives and India. I wish both our nations continued growth, prosperity and harmony. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That concludes the press statements. Please be seated.